The top 10 reasons you should never buy a Can-Am Spider. Consider Can-Am Spider a masterpiece? Ready to take the bucks out? This is Fastlane TV, and today I'll name not one, but 10 reasons why you should never buy a Can-Am Spider. Intrigued? Then watch till the end. For those who haven't watched my previous review on the model, the Can-Am Spider is a three-wheeled trike motorcycle created by Can-Am, a division of Bombardier Recreational Products. The Spider is an inverted trike driven by a single rear wheel with two wheels up front for steering. It's definitely a unique concept with a similar design to a snowmobile and an ATV-style chassis. Hold on, you said you would buy this baby in the last video. Did you change your mind? Not exactly. Still, I consider it a risky investment. That's why I came up with 10 heavy reasons why you should avoid Can-Am Spider. 1. Can-Am Spiders aren't good regarding reliability. Although they satisfy a niche market, Spider is often considered unreliable due to the inconsistent dealership knowledge and support, finicky warranty coverage, electrical failures, and a history of quality control issues. Spiders have become more reliable in the latest years. Many failures come from service negligence and high maintenance costs. Still, for every cynical Spider owner you find in the forums, two Spider riders swear by their reliability. 2. Electrical Issues One of the major complaints regarding the reliability is electrical issues. Spiders stranded the owner's hands with an inaccurate code error due to a complex CPU-driven design. Some Spider riders reported that their bikes threw error codes at them when there wasn't an issue. This is an issue itself, since a wrong error message can potentially leave the spider inoperable. Safety features stop the spiders from firing up and riding if specific errors are detected. There may not even be a failure, but a spider that throws operation hindering codes is unreliable even when there is no issue. That's why owner maintenance for a spider is crucial. 3. What breaks first? If you wonder what breaks first in the Can-Am Spider, it's the disc brakes, radiator clamp or hose, and different electrical components. The first omen of a failing radiator hose or clamp is a coolant leak under the front trunk of the Spider. Sometimes, the leak might be caused by a crack in the radiator, the next weak spot on Spiders. Can-Am Spiders can also have an issue with disc brakes glazing or failing due to brake squeaking and warping the rotors. Some customers claim the Can-Am Spider brake problems extend to the handbrake or parking brake. The parking brake on a Spider might get stuck in place and won't let go under rider input, leaving you stuck. In that case, allowing the Spider to cool down is the best option for unsticking its parking brake. Lastly, one of the first things to break is the belt tensioner. It'll not only fail, but may go missing entirely. Luckily, the belt tensioner must be replaced as part of routine service, according to the maintenance schedule written in your owner's manual. If not, it can fail and could cause belt vibrations serious enough to loosen your battery terminals. 4. Meticulous Maintenance Compared to other motorcycles, Spider needs a hell of a lot of maintenance, including laser wheel alignments and complex services that require expert mechanics. The complexity means that there is more room for everything to go wrong. The high maintenance cost on a Spider stops some owners from following the suggested maintenance schedule in the owner's manual. A particular level of expertise is required to perform Spider-specific maintenance tasks like laser wheel alignment. Even a decent home mechanic won't be able to wrench themselves to save a buck. 5. Worst Years Can-Am has seen some good years, together with bad ones. The worst year Can-Am Spider is definitely the 2013 model. Can-Am recalled 5,000 2013 Spiders due to excessive engine heat. The engine heat issue was so bad that it could burn your legs. In some cases, extreme engine heat output even started fires. 
Although the 2013 Can-Am Spider was recalled once the problem became widespread, by 2015, Can-Am still didn't find a way to fix the problem. Without replacement parts and an appropriate diagnosis, Can-Am couldn't correctly perform the recall. Many of the pieces were fitted with heat shields to prevent fires and leg burns. Plus, Can-Am advised owners of the 2013 Spider not to ride their Spiders in traffic and not idle for long periods. Even with heat shields, the 2013 Spider still ranks as Can-Am's worst year. However, that's not it. A defective reverse actuator cable may cause the Can-Am Spider RT SM5 Roadster to engage reverse without pressing the reverse button when downshifting. This will cause a powertrain issue. The company has recalled 160 Can-Am Spider RT SM5 Roadsters built in 2011. 6. Pricing There's no entry-level Spider regarding the price. The Can-Am website allows you to create your Spider and gives you the price and projected payments. The cheapest model is a base RS and it starts at $14,999. Assuming you finance it through BRP with a 6% APR, you're looking at a monthly payment of $289.97. That's a car payment. Okay, some lunatics do treat their bikes as a car but many others don't and won't, partially thanks to weather changes. Oh, talking about weather, I should note that Spider is definitely a three-season machine, and I think it'd be great to mount some snow tires on it and see how well it would fare in a blizzard. So, excluding the basic models, the prices jump considerably. The Spider Sport Touring starts at $19,199, the F3 starts at $19,499, while the base RT Touring model starts at $23,199. Ah, my bike is my toy, you say. It could, but not many people can afford a $15,000 weekend fun machine. Least of all, you can afford a trike that fills up a one-car garage. If you live somewhere with an actual winter, you need to store it which could pose a problem for folks who don't have a garage. 7. Customer Support There's a massive issue with dealers. Take a look at the Can-Am Spider website and check if your area has certified dealerships. Is it nearby or 100 miles away? This isn't merely a hassle for riders who want to customize their spiders. Spider is unique and requires a particular skill set to do repair work on it. A lack of mechanics who are qualified to work on the Can-Am Spider would undoubtedly be a reason to invest one's money in a traditional motorcycle, or even on a Harley factory-built trike. Why the hell not? 8. You must ride your Spider regularly and responsibly. Ride your Spider according to the instructions outlined in your Spider's owner manual to ensure a long life of reliable performance. Regularly riding your Spider will keep its fluids clean, engine components lubricated, and battery juiced. Winterize it and tender its battery if you plan to let your Spider sit for some time without use. And while you do it, make sure you're keeping its fluids fresh. 9. It's not dependable. According to Consumer Reports, Can-Am ranks lowest in reliability among the top 10 motorcycle brands. However, Many of the quality control issues outlined by customers have since been discovered and fixed. 10. You need a high-rated dealership. I've mentioned it in my last video, but lousy mechanics tend to be behind many recorded failures and quality issues. Most of the disappointed riders were unlucky customers of a less reputable dealership. Analyze the dealership before buying the piece and ensure it has a solid reputation for assembling and maintaining spiders. There must be adequate knowledgeable mechanics with a passion for their craft. If your dealership is good, regularly service your spider there. Schedule your maintenance to ensure your spider is up to date. 